Roy, did you have a question? Yeah, greetings, dear one. Welcome to our Hikra webinar. Um, before you came through, our beautiful Takur said that you were a spirit guide of somebody that is yeah. now. Would you be able to be able to reveal this for this person? She is right here. <laughs> okay. Is that all you're going to give us? It is up to her to let you go. <laughs> of course. I respect that. Thank you. That was just my uh, bit of curiosity there. Thank you. And blessings to you. Um, would you be able to give us maybe a description of what you look like, um, just so we can get a bit of a visual idea? Well, I represent my people to her and to you. And I have, I am from the part of Andromeda that has not been destroyed by the collision of galaxies. And so, therefore, I am what I looked like on Andromeda was sort of humanoid, but I do not have humanoid features. I have three eyes instead of two, but it, that is only because our atmosphere is very dim. We have it very dim, and so in order to be able to see very well, we use three different eyes for different <coughs> spectrums of light. We can see into the dark, we can see into the glow of the light, or we can see the dusk-like areas. And so we have developed the three eyes for visual acuity, because there are many creatures on our planet from far in the past that have developed also intellectual abilities, but they are still dangerous. Oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. Um, how are your eyes arranged? Is it in a, in a row, or is it in a column, or is it random on your head? I am sorry, I did not catch that. Someone is in pain. Oh, dear. Ask the question again. Right. I was inquiring about your... I'm, I'm fascinated by the idea of your, your eyesight and your vision. Um, I, we have our eyes that uh, are level, one, one to each other, as you may know. I want to know how are your three eyes arranged exactly? One is on the chin, and two are where your eyes are. But the chin is an area that is very protected. So therefore, right here in the chin area is, the th is our third eye because our spiritual eye is on the forehead just as you are. So you have a pineal gland as well, well, like a type of pineal gland, third eye, like we do as well? Yes. Correct. Okay. One moment. There is someone needing my assistance. Thank you. Thank of course. You. Where is the pain? Right here. One moment, please. It will not take long. You feel the heat. Is it helping at all? Yes. Sia for Yasha. Is that better? Yasha. Is it lessening? 
yes and no. Is it a spasm that you're having? Okay. And so every time it gets tight again. So we need to we need to move it. We need to get the muscle moving. Because it's it gets constricted. That is where the appendix That's what I'm wondering, the appendix and the, the gallbladder. Can you what the there is some Is there a, is there a gallbladder? There is some portion of an organ that is here that is I believe it appendix. Appendix? Appendix is in the center. More center, yes. Gallbladder. Gallbladder. Appendix. There is one moment. Appendix. Let me receive energy from my people. <laughs> It was it a sudden attack? Yes. Please send the energy that you have in your hands to this individual named Angela. Okay. We will. Healing must happen soon. Breathe very deeply. Very deeply. All the way down to your toes. Breathe very deeply and calm yourself because that is part of the attack is that you are... Slowly. Yes, very good. Very slowly. There you go. In through your nose. Yes, slowly. calming yourself will help. Concentrate on your breathing. Feel the air coming in. Feel only the air. In slowly. From the distance that I am. Slowly out of your mouth. Concentrate on your breath. Yes. Concentrate only on your breath. I'm bringing in others. Just feel the breath. Feel only the breath. Slowly. Much slower. Listen to the It will subside. It's gone down. Okay. It will subside and it is subsiding now. <laughs> Thank you for your help. The symbol of the Yoshunzis was helpful. Yes, but she still needs to seek medical attention. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There is something there. It is within an organ. I had part of my lung removed from that area. Down this area. But it's not in the lung. I do not see it the lung. You see pancreas? I see, no, the pancreas was on the other side. Yeah, so. I think I'm yeah, seeing, they are telling me that <coughs> it is either gallbladder or appendix. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. but we will move forward because it is calming down at this time. Yes. We will yes. speak of this later. Is yeah. she nauseated? Is she nauseous? It's are you cold. nauseous? No. Okay. Or pain in the back, yeah. No. No, it is in the front. It is the gallbladder or the appendix. The, the gallbladder can also cause pain and, and it can radiate, it can go shoot to the back. Yes. Yes, it's just oh. right back there. Yes, it would be the appendix. Yes. Then. She definitely needs to go to the doctor. She has to go see we a doctor. We shall see something, yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I with this with this event, I think we should stop. Okay. If that is all right with you, I think I that's very wise. Yes. I yes. wish do not yes. wish to tarry at this time and cause any <clears throat> further problems. 
If it's the appendix, it's smart to go to the hospital, so go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I, I bid you adieu, and I will bring back this creature. Thank you. Thank you for helping her. Thank you. Um, we appreciate that, and uh, thank you for coming, and do come again. Thank you. And share with us. We appreciate it. Love to you. Love to you as well. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Much love. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Hello. Hi, Jim. Hey. How are you? Good. Uh, Angie's not feeling well, so um, we're gonna close so that the clearing is needed. Oh, okay. Very good. I understand. Um, well, I hope everyone got their questions answered, and I love you guys very much, and I will talk to you again some other time. So, <laughs> hey, Jim, uh, do we Jim, want 